in this video we're going to detail mounting the inverter to the wall. The inverters today, like I said, have mounting plates and the first thing to do is to find the position where you want the inverter, plumb it, line it up pretty to the other equipment if you have something so things don't look hodgepodge on the wall, mount the plate, and then you can install the inverter. So let's get started hanging the inverter. All right, we have our mounting plate. The inverter manufacturer, whichever the company is, they're going to have their own requirements for spacing in terms of what space they want below or to the sides for cooling. Some of them use fans, some of them don't, so you just need to check with your inverter manufacturer and follow their uh, specifications for spacing. All NEC electrical clearance spacings still apply. So um, since we're going to be running conduit here or using a trough, the actual location uh, is not precise, but something hopefully that visually um, looks good. So nothing, we want things to all be level, things like that. So. And typically we're mounting these either into a, um, could be a drywall, uh, or it could be a plywall wall that we've put in, or it could be studs. If there are studs, then you have to find them and uh, make sure you're landing your lag bolts into something meaty. These inverters can weigh anywhere from 30 pounds upwards to 130. And again, <clears throat> your inverter manufacturer is going to specify your detail required for mounting uh, structural integrity. So. All right, now that our plate's on the wall, I can get the inverter and just hang it up there. So now that we have the plate secured to the wall exactly where we want it, we can then come up and hang the inverter. Once our inverter is hung on our mounting plate, we just need to attach it with whatever hardware they supply. Uh, this Fronius unit has a couple bolts that tie into the plate and the inverter, and that's really only the physical the actual only physical attachment the plate has to the inverter. Again, it's just hanging from gravity and these little bolts keep it from wobbling on there. Okay, and that's the inverter being mounted to the wall. Next thing to do is We'll get our conduit and we'll attach our conduit from our DC box into our inverter. And then the output of our inverter is our AC and we'll wire that up down into our AC disconnect. And we'll do that next.